Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Ah. Oh, it's time now. We know what time it is. It's carefree time. It's time to go to your happy place right now. It's time to go to your happy place and to the presence, Lord. It's called carefree. Cast all my care on you, Lord. You care for me right now. Oh, give it to him right now. The next hour, give it to Lord in prayer right now. Carefree. Praise God. Amen, brother. Amen. Whoa. Levita, welcome. Mario, amen.
carefree. To be carefree. To leave the world at the door. The next 45 minutes is just you and the Lord and nobody else. For those who just join tonight, the bubbles mean it's just you and the Lord. When you see the bubbles, it's just you and the Lord and nobody else. Not even doing fellowship. The next 45 minutes is letting go between just you and the Lord. Yes, we're here together, but during this time, this is when we give everything to the Lord in prayer. Give him every worry, every stress, every fear, every struggle, every in infirmity, every anxiety, every attack, every pain. Give him everything. That's why we call it, give it to the Lord Saturday. Give everything to the Lord in prayer over the next 45 minutes. And during this time, focus, focus on the presence of the Lord. Focus on his peace beyond understanding. Focus on his anointing and it's flowing right now. His anointing is flowing right now. Whenever you come into the presence of the Lord, his anointing is waiting for you to re-energize you, refresh you, refill you in his presence. So right now, let's say it together. I receive a fresh anointing right now. In the name of Jesus, I receive a fresh anointing right now. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for victory. Anointing for healing and breakthrough. Anointing for provision and protection. Anointing for whatever it is you need to walk in victory. His anointing destroys every yoke. His anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Be filled right now. Be filled right now. Let him touch you right now. Let him touch your spirit. Let him touch your heart right now. Open your open up right now. It's just you and the Lord. It's just you and the Lord and nobody else. Open your heart and let God heal you. Let God feel you. And we fill you and bring healing to your bones, healing to your mind, healing to your spirit. Receive it. Receive his healing touch right now. And just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your healing touch. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And right now we bask in his presence. We bask in his presence and say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord, have your way. Have your way in every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom. We take every worry, every struggle, every fear, Every anxiety, whatever is heavy on your heart right now, whatever is heavy on your mind, whatever it is, take that thing right now and lay it on the altar. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Come on, say it together. That's right. Let go. Lay it on the altar. Let go. And trust God. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover. 
the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never let go. We never ever let go of your un changing hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panted for the water, so my soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale, the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale, the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Yes, Lord. We feel the weightlifting, Lord. We feel the weightlifting right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We feel your touch. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In your eyes, Lord. In your eyes, I want to be pleasing in your sight. In your eyes. In your eyes. In your eyes.
in your eyes, in your eyes, in your eyes. And right now, I want you to take a moment right now and look at what you're praying for right now with your inner spirit eye. And whatever you're doing right now, I want you to see the victory over whatever you're praying for. If you're praying for healing, see yourself healed. You're praying for provision, see yourself shouting for joy at the provision unexpected. Whatever it is you're praying for right now, see the victory, not the problem, not the struggle, not the attack. See the victory as a man thinks, so he is, good or bad. Take a moment right now and see yourself shouting for joy, for the breakthrough and deliverance, protection, direction. See it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. Even before it happens, see it in your heart. Now faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The faith you have right now determines what you bring into your life. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The things you're praying for are the things hoped for. And when they come to pass, it's the evidence of things unseen, which is the power of prayer. See that victory right now. When you pray, believe you have received it and you shall have it. But you got to see it first. See it in order to believe it. The devil tries his best to keep us from seeing healing, seeing victory, seeing breakthrough, seeing deliverance. He tries to distract us any way he can to keep us from seeing the miracles that are already there on the way in your life. See it. See it. Thank you, Jesus. Now, as you see it, thank him for it. Because you already prayed. You already prayed for it earlier. So now just thank him, Lord. Thank you for my healing. Oh, thank you, Jesus, my victory. Thank you, Jesus, my breakthrough. Whatever you're praying for, it's already done. So thank him every day. Thank him every day until it manifests in the flesh in your life. Because in the spirit, it's already done. In the spirit, it's already done. The victory is already done. The healing is already done. Your breakthrough is already done. So thank him every day until it manifests in the flesh. Because it's on the way. Thank you, Jesus. It's on the way. Your miracles on the way. Your blessings on the way. Whatever you've been praying for all this time is on the way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The dancer dancing with the Lord. Hallelujah.
Yes, Lord. A moment with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace be still. Peace be still. If you really laid everything on the altar right now, you should feel God's peace all over you. You should feel God's peace beyond understanding touching you right now. Touching. Refreshing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Think of all the ways I love you, Lord. Think of all the ways you love me. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, yes, Lord. Think in all ways you love me.
and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Peace be still. Peace. Be still. Right now, Father God, as we come to a close of worship, Lord, I pray this corporate intercessory prayer right now over the entire fellowship, Lord. Father God, I stand in agreement with every unspoken prayer request that's on the heart of every fellowship member right now, live archive. I stand in agreement with prayers for healing, prayers for loved ones, for deliverance, provision, protection, for miracles. I stand in agreement that every prayer request on the heart of every fellowship member right now, live or archived, shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, as we continue to come together as a fellowship, Lord, six days a week, daily, Lord, we pray not only for world peace, but Lord, we pray for a double hedge of protection to be over everybody, to be protected from any unexpected shootings, accidents, or violence of any kind, Lord. Daily we pray for healing, Lord, a supernatural healing. We pray for our leaders, for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirits of rebellion, division, racism, and hatred. As we commit as a fellowship to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek your face, to turn from our wicked ways. So you are here from heaven. Forgive our sins and heal our land. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we close, I always know someone's watching maybe for the first time or visiting for the first time who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. Come together around the world six days a week live or archive to praise and worship and fellowship together having never met physically but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ which makes us all brothers and sisters in Christ but someone listening right now doesn't understand this kind of fellowship so right now I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted our respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to person listening. It may be first time or several times. But you've been listening the whole time. And you heard the jam and jazz praise. You heard the stillness and prayers. But right now, you can't connect. Because right now your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turning away from you. Friends stabbing the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow, you find yourself on this channel and have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and that's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, 
You chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil is telling you, once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie in the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then fell back into sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression and worries and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create in me, Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us. We're not one God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time time with God. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God let you know it's going to be all right. The next step is to repent. And repent means to change your ways from sinful ways to God's ways. And the more time you spend with God, the stronger the Holy Spirit gets in you. And before you know it, you'll turn away from the simple things you used to do and instead seek God's will and God's way. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named unnamed, seen, unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship, we cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came. In Jesus' name. And Father, I loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose. Peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore. Restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please command your protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose Supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your strike, we'll be healed. And we confess it, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus every day. Confess it and thank him. Confess it and thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose. Supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Oh, Lord, let your blessings, Lord, the blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on fellowship, every financial need, whatever it is. 
for you to supply all our need according to your riches in glory but Christ Jesus the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want I shall not want anything for the Lord is my shepherd family repeat after me let's say this part together for I am the head not the tail I am above not beneath I am the lender and not the borrower I'm blessed going in and blessed going out I am blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall my enemies hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know. Every day we take time, every day we take time to see it. Visualize your miracle every day. See it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day could be the day. And the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So we expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep you family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing to everyone you pass by. And bless when I open your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, include leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. And the fellowship say, Amen, Amen, Amen.